But you find people that do it five, six times just because of the incentive. Well, maybe just go and not say that you've been there before. Just give them a different name, say you have no ID. Why don't you, if you want to apply so badly, try something else where it's not the same company. Go somewhere where it's like extremely busy. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't keep putting the vaccine in your body. The people in homeless shelters are getting multiple vaccines in order to collect $100. Right. Is that ethical? Absolutely not. We showed you shocking video of young children being vaccinated with the wrong mixture of the COVID vaccine and the apparent government negligence that led to it happening in the first place. We'll show you even more disturbing details of the story where lower income and homeless people get vaccinated multiple times because of the financial incentive being given out. Yeah. 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 So maybe just go and not say that you've been there before, just give them a different name, say you have no ID. Some being vaccinated upwards of five to six times, which could potentially have severe impacts on their health. Not even the doctors we've spoken with could tell us the health impacts this might have. Your other colleagues mentioned that people in homeless shelters are getting multiple vaccines in order to collect $100. Right. Is that ethical? Absolutely not. Do you know anything about that happening? When I worked, I've heard probably three to four times that people that were in the homeless shelters were going to get the vaccination and receiving the $100 incentive, mm -hmm. but they were getting vaccinated over five, six times and they were getting the incentives. So you're talking about over five, $600 each time. And I said, well, how does that work? Mm -hmm. And they were changing their names around. In the shelter, in the bus, like at the shelters, and they get vaccinated like six, seven times. We've had that. <laughs> but when you put it through the system, yeah. the person's name will come up, yeah, yeah. you know, all the uh, demographics and direct relations to that person. But you find people that do it five, six times just because of the incentive. Yeah, but then how do they get in there though? You got this one guy. If you put him through the system, he's got like, he's passed all the boosters. He's got the first, the second, three boosters, and he keeps continuously trying this. So we're like, no, we can't. Oh my God, but he got in a bunch of times. So it just, just depends if he gets the right nurse that says, all right, come on over, right? Or even an admin, like I'm the admin. When you put that in it, you're supposed to get that flag in it. Right. So how do they bypass the flag? By flipping the names. And they did right? it first. That's, that's, that's why they do it, because the incentive, the money. There's somebody registering the patient. Mm -hmm. I'm not registering them. I'm reviewing you... their information and administering a vaccine to them. NewYorkCity.gov, along with New York Health and Hospitals, are very public about this incentive program. They're, they're, they're advertising it. Get $100 free with your free COVID-19 vaccine, New York City Health and Hospitals. What are your thoughts on that? One of, one of the workers, the admins, she told me that some of the gift cards were empty that when people went to go retrieve their money that mm -hmm. there was some money on the gift cards and i said well how does that happen and she goes we don't know as it turns out the hundred dollar gift cards being given to people as an incentive to get vaccinated were empty nobody seems to know how or why this happened but some speculate the cards were used before being given out you guys had the gift card the last one i got didn't have any money on it what gift card The city, this came out yesterday. Uh, the city has processed some 7,000 complaints about the Akimbo brand vaccine incentive card since the initiative launched in July, according to city spokesperson Joanne Allen, who added that more than 730,000 cards have been distributed. How do you know that, um, uh, that this is happening? Is this something you've overheard, something you've heard about, something you've seen yourself? That... I've had somebody come to me mm -hmm. when giving a vaccine. Um, I was discussing with a patient that I gave the vaccine to. I have to review how to receive the incentive. The patient overheard and said, well, don't get it mailed to your house because it's been four months and I haven't received mine yet. Hmm. One of the workers... The administrator, the admin that I, was, that I was working with, said that a lot of cards were empty. And I, I just didn't understand how they, 
they could become empty. Speaking of which, we have another video clip. Yeah. The guy came up to there was no one, and he had in his phone, he put his car in. We vaccinated him like October, say, twenty seven. Mm -hmm. It stated that his money was taken off August 13th. What? Yeah. He had just got his vaccine. So it was in the system that the money was already removed. We're giving out blank cards because someone is taking the money and the money. It doesn't make any sense and it's 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 something that should never happen. Mm -hmm. So when I explain it to somebody, my friend, a coworker, that I did the vaccine, they'll never believe they have the wrong mixture and they, they don't believe you. They don't believe me. You nothing. don't think they believe you because it's so outrageous. It's outrageous right. and negligent. It's so negligent. And, negligent. and this is federal government money. Uh, billions of dollars are being used. It's don't all about money. money. It's all about money at the end of the day. They don't care what happens. And I did not even want to come forward because I said it's yeah. me against the government. Right. And there's parents that, that don't have an income that are using their kids to get that $100 incentive. Mm -hmm. So they're going to, of course, bring their kid in to get a vaccine and get, get the $100 incentive. It is clear that government contracts rushed in the panic of a global pandemic can lead to disastrous consequences. Thanks to brave people coming to us from the inside, we're able to bring stories like this to light. We hope it motivates others in similar situations to come forward. Be brave. Do something. Send us a tip at veritastips at protonmail.com.